Hi guys, today let us derive the length of the belt in an open belt drive. Hence, consider the following figure. It consists of two pulleys A and B upon which the belt runs. This is the open belt drive. Now, let O1 and O2 be the centers of the two pulleys. Hence, the distance between the centers will be C. Now, let the belt come in contact with the pulleys at the point E, G, H and F. Now, R1 and R2 are the radius of the two pulleys. Let beta be the angle of contact. Now, the angle of contact at the driving pulley that is A is given as theta1 and the driven pulley is given as theta2. Now, draw a line from point O1 to the line O2H so that this line will make a perpendicular at the point K. Hence, this will form a right angle triangle. Considering this triangle now, we have the angle of contact as sin beta is equal to O2K divided by O1, O2. Hence, we know that O2K is nothing but R2 minus the radius R1. Hence, this can be given as R2 minus R1 divided by O1, O2 which is nothing but the distance between the center of the two pulleys C. Hence, beta can be given as the sine inverse of R2 minus R1 divided by C. Consider this as 1. Now, the angle of contact at driving pulley theta 1 is given by pi minus 2 beta that is pi the straight line 180 degrees minus 2 times the small angle beta. Hence, theta 1 can be given as pi minus the value of beta that is 2 into sin inverse of R2 minus R1 divided by C. Now, the angle of contact at the driven pulley similarly is given by pi 2 plus 2 times of beta. Hence, this can be written as pi plus 2 sin inverse of R2 minus R1 divided by C. Now, consider the length of the belt. The length of the belt can be given as 2 times into the arc AG plus GH plus the arc HB. Hence, substituting the values, we have 2 times into the arc AG which is given by pi by 2 minus beta into the radius R1 plus HG that is C into cos beta plus the value of arc HB that is pi by 2 plus beta into R2. Expanding this, we have pi r1 minus 2 beta r1 plus 2 into c cos beta plus pi r2 plus 2 into beta r2. Grouping similar terms, we will have pi into r1 plus r2 plus 2 beta into r2 minus r1 plus 2 c cos beta. Name this equation as 3. Now, for very small values of beta, sin beta will approximately be equal to beta. Also, we know that cos beta is given by root of 1 minus sin square beta. From binomial theorem simplification, this can be written as 1 minus half into sin square beta. Hence, now cos beta is given as 1 minus half beta square as sin square beta is almost equal to beta. So, Substituting the value, we have 1 minus half into the value of beta that is R2 minus R1 divided by C the whole square. Now, the equation 3 will imply that L is equal to pi into R1 plus R2 plus 2 beta into R2 minus R1 that is 2 into R2 minus R1 divided by C the whole square plus 2C into the value of cos beta that is 1 minus half into R2 minus R1 by C square. On simplification, we have pi by r1 plus r2 plus 2 by c into r2 minus r1 square plus 2c minus r2 minus r1 square divided by c. Now, subtracting the similar terms, finally the value of L can be given as 
pi into r1 plus r2 plus r2 minus r1 the whole square divided by c plus 2c. Hence, this is the length of the belt in an open belt drive. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start a class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.